Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is bronchitis, which is from medical surgical nursing, respiratory system disorders. Let's start bronchitis. Bronchitis is a disease in which there is infection and inflammation of the bronchi. Bronchi is a part of airway which is located towards the end of the airway, almost end of the airway. It is located before alveoli. Bronchi has branches called as bronchioles which provides air to the alveoli and also from the alveoli towards upper upper airway. So bronchitis is infection and inflammation of bronchus characterized by productive cough and breathing sound. Because there is infection in bronchi, there is production of cough and the breathing sound is a wheezing sound when while we use a stethoscope to hear it. More than 10 million cases are recorded per year in India of bronchitis. They are acute and chronic both. In bronchitis, what happens is the branch that reaches to the alveoli, that is bronchi. Because of infection, there is a deposition of excess mucus which makes this bronchi narrow. So there is wheezing sound while we hear through auscultation. There are two types of bronchitis, acute and chronic bronchitis. This classification in bronchitis is very, very important because the whole symptom depends on the classification, whether it is acute or chronic. This is a time-based division. Acute bronchitis occurs if in lesser time than six months, while chronic bronchitis symptoms occur within six months, also further more than six months. In acute bronchitis, positive agent can be bacteria, virus, allergens, or irritants. It lasts from 2 to 10 days. Generally, it subsides on its own within 10 days. So, its cause can be minimal, a single cause, a single agent, which also can be subsided minimally within 10 days. Chronic bronchitis, it occurs when bronchus is continuously infected or irritated. For longer than six months. The cough and production now has enlarged. It lasts for longer than three months in a year and two years in a row, two years continuously. This chronic bronchitis can be one of the risk factors for COPD. We have etiology for bronchitis, both acute and chronic. They can be virus, bacteria, virus like influenza, principal virus, adenovirus, rhinovirus. Bacteria can be pertussis, mycoplasma, chlamydia. Also, due to pollution, some people get bronchitis. Due to smoking cigarettes and smoking cannabis. Also, due to gastroesophageal reflux disease. Reflux is the re-movement, opposite movement of gastroesophageal product. So, due to gastroesophageal reflux disease, the product that is supposed to move towards the stomach moves opposite towards the mouth. That if it enters airway, then the same food particles become foreign for the airway, creating infection. As a result, bronchitis can occur. This factor can be aging, smoking, both active and passive, pre-existing asthma, already existing asthma or COPD in the body, autoimmune disorder, self-destructing disorder that causes inflammation. Pathophysiology of bronchitis is as follows. First of all, patient is exposed to risk factor which causes irritation in the airway. There is hypersecretion of mucus and inflammation. Because of infection, there is too much secretion of mucus and inflammation. Bronchial wall becomes thick, bronchi becomes narrow and the mucus plugs the airway, blocks the airway. The alveoli, which is adjacent to that bronchi, might become damaged because the space has become narrow and now the air cannot pass through it. The air that came through the airway cannot pass through the bronchi or to the alveoli. So that alveoli become damaged eventually. There is infection of airway and symptoms can be seen as productive cough and wheezing sound. Clinical features of acute bronchitis can be dry or productive cough. At the beginning, cough can become dry, but eventually when there is production, cough becomes productive. 
color of the cough can be yellow or green color of infectious cough breathing sound on auscultation can be heard there is sore throat fatigue body ache low fever running nose and vomiting also there is marked sinusitis peripheral edema chest tightness or pain because of accumulation of the fluid there is chest tightness along with that pain also occurs similarly symptoms of chronic bronchitis can be the same cough but now cough is worsen it is more worse in morning and also it is worse in damp weather there is wheezing sound on auscultation same thing there is frequent respiratory infection which is difficult to recover production of large amount of mucus which is called as mucus cough this large amount of mucus can be visualized through x ray also there is dyspnea in chronic bronchitis diagnosis can be done by chest x ray blood test mucus culture and sensitivity test this mucus culture can help us find out the nature of bacteria chest x ray can help to find out which is the space where the infection is occurring blood test can help to find out what is the level of every normal range every normal particles of the blood in a range pulmonary function test spirometry pulse oximetry can help us to find out how well lungs is performing how is the airway gas is exchange taking place and what is the level of oxygen in the blood medically if we want to manage bronchitis we should give the medicine against the positive agent like we have antiviral antibiotic if we want to give bronchodilators to relax the airway we can provide through nebulization or through any medicine that helps to relax the airway so that the mucus which is produced there can come out through mechanism of coughing we can also provide anti inflammatory medication corticosteroids that reduces inflammation medicine can be provided using inhalers along with nebulization what can be given is inhaler which helps to the medicine to enter directly to the airway cough suppressants can be given if there is too much of cough production antifusics antibiotic can be given when the nature of positive agent is bacterial in nature if there is a pre existing disease like copd asthma then it should be treated because copd and asthma can aggravate the symptoms if there is chest pain like there was in sinus symptoms ibuprofen can be given nursing management for this can be positioning first of all maintaining semi fowler's position semi fowler's position this semi fowler's position provide comfort in breathing also we can encourage oral fluid intake to recover the fluid which is lost from the body through fever through infection body loses excess fluid which should be recovered through oral intake the ward can have a humidifier in order to control the moisture in the atmosphere and also to control the temperature that can result in loosening the mucus and relieve wheezing also diet should contain ginger lemon honey almonds these all food has properties which can relieve the symptom of bronchitis also we can assess the airway daily through auscultation measurement of vital signs maintaining airway always remains our first priority breathing sound should be auscultated the quality of respiration should be assessed like a rate of respiration pattern nostrils flaring movement of nostrils dyspnea on exertion use of accessory muscles for respiration that is use of other muscles than intercostal muscles and diaphragm for respiration these are the sign of respiratory distress in the body also provide knowledge to the patient because patient needs to know what is happening to him or her and what is the treatment going on this helps to relieve anxiety and fear of the patients thank you so much next topic will be discussed in next video